Okay, so... While it's kind of bad of me, I haven't seen the other endings of this game. Just so you guys know, don't think that. I've been obsessed with this game so much that, as I mentioned before, I've looked up boss rankings, I've looked up mini boss rankings, I've looked up, um... Basically just ways I could farm for things. And those videos have just been like... It's, it's gone beyond that as well, I've watched other things about this game, like other people playing it. So it's gotten to the point that I've become pretty much addicted to this game. Surprisingly, I don't really get addicted to games often. But um, on that subject, since the rest, since the other playthroughs I do of this game will be streams, I want this Let's Play to be special. So um, I know there's four endings to this game. There's Immortal Severance, there's Shura, there is Purifier, I think, and there's Return. Um, I don't know which one's which, sort of. Um, I know there's one bad one, there's one sad one, there's one good one, and there's the best ending. So, from what I can tell, most people that play this game for the first time end up on the Immortal Severance ending. Because there's one ending in particular that you get for um, agreeing to help Al forsake Kuro. All the other three endings are if you don't go with Al. And two of those endings involve you doing specific things to get that ending. Whereas the Immortal Severance ending is teaming up with Kuro against Al, but going through the story normally. Um, so what I want to do is, I'll get that ending another time. I want to get the best ending though, for this Let's Play. So that ending is the return ending. It involves you doing a lot of stuff, um, but as long as you do it before the final boss, I think, you should be fine. Um, I don't know if I need to do the other endings to understand this ending, but w I'm gonna just think, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna believe that each ending is different, that they lead to different things, and that you don't need to understand ending A to understand ending B. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow the I'm not sure if I can do it now or later, but I'm just going to follow what um, criteria things you have to do to get this ending over the course of this Let's Play. So if I end up doing things that are a little off, it's because I'll, I'll end up explaining it probably, but it'll be because I'm following a criteria list. So yeah, um, sorry to anyone who thinks I should do the Immortal Severance ending before anything. I want to do this specifically though. I already know there's multiple endings and I want to work for one of them. So I don't see the bad side. <laughs> this is a very deep place. Holy chapter infested. I didn't actually read that properly. Holy book on enlightenment inscribed for the divine child of rejuvenation. For an age I have been blessed by the worn. To be undying is to walk the eternal path to enlightenment. Thus I must become enlightened to understand why I cannot die. It is said the Holy Dragon's origins were in the West, so I wonder, how did the worm come to be bestowed upon me? Okay. And another prayer bait. That's cool. Okay, so it seems I wasn't recording the last part. Um, basically, you go into that pond, you get the holy chapter, infest the thing out of it, then you come to the divine child, you give it to her, um, and, well, she has a dialogue box, then you have to keep on requesting rice from her. Request rice, then you eat it, then you go to the idol, you travel somewhere, then you travel back, request rice, rice again, and keep on repeating this. Then, you, at some point, you should come back, She'll be coughing, she'll seem sick, she'll ask for a persimmon, a persimmon, 
you give it to her, she'll feel better, and after giving her parsimons either the first time or it may take a couple of times, um, she will give you rice for Kuro. I have given the rice to Kuro so far, but it turns out that you're meant to talk to Kuro again and get something from him. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, Wolf. Come now, hold out your hand. My lord. Oh yeah, Kuro said that um, she um, we we explained how the rice seems sweet when you bite into it, and she's like, um, he's like, oh, so you like sweet things? And so he said that he was going to cook us something. So after leaving and coming back, he made this. Sweet rice, sweet rice bowl. Sweet, sticky rice bowl made by Cure using rice from the child of rejuvenation. Slowly grants medium vitality recovery and constant poster recovery over time. Once, when the wolf was starving, his father wordlessly handed him a white rice bowl. It was astoundingly delicious. This one is sure to taste just as good. What is... Sweet, sticky rice balls. I made them with the rice from the Divine Child. Eat it. Don't be shy. Okay. I got two of them. Nice. <laughs> too shy to eat it in front of me? Well, that's fine too. Uh... I'll eat it. Sure. I expect a, um... A response to this. That it is. That it is. Nice. Now we go back to the inner sanctum. Did you give the rice to the divine heir? Yes, he made rice balls out of it. The divine heir of the dragon's heritage? He made them himself. Yes, and he was enthusiastic, and I had one. It was very good. <laughs> That's good to hear. Oh, I see. He may be the divine heir of the dragon's heritage, but he's still human after all. What am I saying? Of course he is. I am sure he had his doubts about severing immortality as well. Yet even so, it is the path he chose. There is something I would like to ask you, Shinobi of the divine heir. Yes? What is his name? Lord Kuro. Lord Kuro. It has a fine ring to it. I should like to meet him someday. I hope you do. Oh. She's gone. There she is. I don't want to lose them. But if I were to choose the path of returning the dragon's heritage, it may come to pass that I would have to leave all of you. Thank you for your kind words. She talking to the other children? <laughs> My friends, listen. He is actually quite kind. He gave me this. Hello? Oh, Shinobi of the Divine Air. I didn't hear you come in. It is thanks to you that I've been able to have a deep conversation with my friends. With the children of the Rejuvenating Waters? Yes. There is something I would like to discuss. I believe we should aim not to sever the dragon's heritage, but instead to return it to its rightful place. Return the dragon's blood? That's right. The dragon's heritage was set free from its homeland, and it drifted here to Japan. Its power was never meant for this land. Until something is done, it will continue to corrupt the lives of those who encounter it. The dragon's heritage and those connected to it. It is only right that they return home. To the west. To the birthplace of the divine dragon. However, there is one problem. 
I am unsure of the exact destination. Who would know? Perhaps the High Priest of Senpo Temple. Or... And he is? He's the founder of Senpo Temple. I wonder how old he actually is. He can be found in a narrow cave, not far from the Inner Sanctum. Shinobi of the Divine Air. Yes? This path differs from that of the one to sever immortality. I do not wish to force my opinion upon you. Should you wish to return the dragon's heritage, then perhaps you should seek out the High Senpo Priest. I'll think about it. I see. Why would I find him though? That's my question. Holy Chapter Dragon's Return Sacred Passage on a Path to Enlightenment Undying, I pray for the Dragon's Return Undi um, Undying low, let us wait an age For the Divine Heir to assimilate the Cold Dragon Tears For the Cradle to cons consume the pair of Serpentine Fruits Let the Cradle endure, giving him shelter Granting his return to the West S I knew that body was going to be important I'm like... That body is coloured in while the others aren't. Why? It turns out it's because it's important. Of course it is. Details. Oh, she's in there. She have you I found him. He was dead. The high priest was infested. How could this come to be? I do not know. However, he left this note. I will take a look. Hmm, I see. Consuming two persimmons of the serpent will allow one to become a cradle for the divine heir. This will make it possible to return the dragon's heritage to its homeland. I, I shall become the cradle. You're sure of this? Of course. I am the only surviving divine child of the rejuvenating waters. Death does not come easily to me. Shinobi of the Divine Air, if you wish to take the path to return the dragon's heritage, then bring me two persimmons of the serpent. Where should I begin? I believe it is said that the liver of a great serpent is stained red like a persimmon. Okay. I have to go after the serpents now. Well, let's begin. I just realized the sculptor's got dragon rod on him. I completely forgot. Oh. Death blow! Fresh Serpent for Sarah. The persimmon like heart of a great serpent. A heart? The great serpent is considered to be a god of the land, and the heart is believed to be where one spirit resides. 
While its shape bears similarity to a persimmon, persimmon, in fact, this is the red viscera of a god. It is safe to assume that eating it would be poisonous to one's health. <laughs> wow, okay. Where am I? Some was here. How did he make it here? Well, there's one dragon there. Oh, this is the other side of the bridge. Interesting. Sugar. Oh, nice snap suit, nice. Hey man. Care another one. Where are you even in places where people simply drift along? <laughs> Go ahead. Buy it. Okay, what can I get from you? I have 85 pellets. That's hilarious. Oh, there's the snake. Whoa! That's fucking scared me, man. And I'm poisoned. I have uh, antidotes, right? Doesn't fucking matter, though. Um... What? Okay. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try using the Mist Raven here. Never mind. Why couldn't I get through? That was weird. There 
There we go. Dried Serpent Viscera. A dried person like heart of a great serpent. The great serpent is the god of the land, and the heart is believed to be where one spirit resides. While it looks much like a persimmon, in fact there is a red viscera of a god. Apparently denizens of the Sunken Valley worship the organs, believing they represent the deity itself. Jesus Christ. How do I get out? I mean, like... Okay, I guess I'll just do this. Shinobi of the Divine Air, have you acquired both persimmons of the serpent? Yes, I do. Yes, I've found them. This shade of red, it is as I expected. A persimmon is an apt comparison. You're actually going to eat them? Of course. Doing so will allow me to become a cradle to return the dragon's heritage to its Well, so you think because of the high priest script thing. I hesitate to eat them in front of you. Please come back after some time. Okay. See if you don't die. She's in a lot of pain. Okay. Okay, so that one open, which means I need to continue the story just a little bit. So... What do I need to do? Let's go talk to Kira. How was the rice ball? It was delicious. I bet it was. Ever since I was little, I've enjoyed making sweets. I used to always sneak into the kitchen back at the Hirata estate. Maybe one day, I'll open up a tea house, if I ever have the time. <laughs> Wolf, we've finally done it. Once we make the fountainhead incense, you can infuse your clothes with the aroma. Now, place all of the ingredients in the incense burner. As you wish. Wait, what? Wolf, once we make the fat now, place all, okay, the, all the ingredients to the incest bundle. My lord. Wolf, the mortal blade. <clears throat> Fear not. I will only make a shallow cut. Would you draw the mortal blade from its sheath? Yes, my lord. Forgive me, but close your eyes. Yes, my lord. Ugh. It's over now, Wolf. How is the wound? I'm fine. I just made a small cut on my chest. Mm. So this is the fountainhead incense. It's so... Extraordinarily nostalgic. I see. Well, do you notice anything different? The aroma and Fountainhead Palace. Those words have been burned into my mind. Fountainhead Palace. It's just as Lord Takeru wrote. That place must lead to the Divine Realm. But how can the Fountainhead Palace be reached? A sweetly scented bridal offering. That was written on the altar where the fragrant stone was placed. Yes. You now carry the aroma of the Fountainhead Incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you if you go to the shrine within the cave. Immortality shall soon be severed. I'm counting on you, Wolf. As you wish. Okay. 
Wolf, I need you to bring Yes. You must first go to the depths of the cave where you found the fragrant stone. You now carry the scent of the Fountainhead incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you, if you enter the shrine within the cave. As you wish. So we have to go back to where we fought the Corrupted Monk? Let's pray. What the fuck? What is that? What the hell? Stick figures come to life! What the hell? Okay then. Yeah, I just had to test that out. Interesting, I think. Pellet. Oh. This. That looks like. Oh no. I'm getting a little like. Welcome to Dark Souls kind of feeling right here. Corrupted monk! What the fuck? Ah! Run! Okay, I can't run. Um... Ah! Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know this boss. Fuck. Though I also know there's a way to cheese him. I'm gonna do that. Because fuck the corrupted monk. He kicked my ass last time. the fuck?
Okay, there's one. God damn it, just kill me. I'm trying to do something specific because I don't want to fight this guy again. Oh, god damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Just just die. Just die, Sekiro. Live on in the afterlife. Live on in the afterlife. There we go. Ah, we can do the second phase. I love it. I read up about that a while ago, and I'm like, wow, is, are you serious? Can we do that? Yeah, you can. Thank God. This guy's annoying, in my opinion. There we go. Goodbye, true corrupted monk, as he's called. Kill that centipede. Immortality severed. Or well, severed, I guess. Memory, true monk. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe. Commune with the sculptor's idol, uh, the corrupted monk, guard of the bridge leading to the fountainhead palace. Is that why he was um, guarding the the cave then? Because that's the way to the Fountainhead, uh, Fountainhead Palace, I think it is. The tally board card for the, from a large piece of jade, possessing that increases the stocks that can be purchased in merchants' shops. Such a tally board is highly prized by the merchant class. Old custom dictates that those of dragon rank are recognized as supreme merchants by the Imperial Palace and should be given the best possible treatment. Oh, that's cool. Nice. 